Hey YouTube, Brickstorm coming at you with another Lego Megazord review. Today I will be reviewing the Lego Megazord Space Assault Megazord, if that sounded right. But anyway, besides that, um, this is a Space Assault Megazord made up of five, oops, five components. We have Assault Mothership, Assault Jetter, Assault Probe, Assault Shuttle, and Assault Winger. Red, blue, yellow, pink, and black are the colors of this sword. And let's hop right on into it. So for right now, I'm going to start off with red and I'm going to move all these guys to the side. So just give me a quick second there. And here we are with the red mothership, assault mothership. And I gotta say, this guy is pretty much a monster. He's like kind of like the boots of whale, but not all the way. Um, he came out really well. He's pretty big. If I stand him up and I measure his height. He's approximately about eight inches tall, which is pretty decent just for a regular Zord, but his weight is pretty, you know, he's pretty massive in weight too. Now, um, since he's a ship, he really doesn't do too much, but you know, he's, he's all right for what he can do, but he does look really well. And, but articulation wise, these little ship components can move down, I guess that's you can call articulation he has this little gun there that's adjustable and these little wings but other than that he's really pretty much a brick but he's still a really well constructed megazord and i do do enjoy this a lot this is a space theme just letting you know um for those who didn't know what it was um yeah and if you haven't seen my last video review i'm just gonna let you know now for those who have viewed it um i did not make a box art for this because my paper had gotten wet for me to make this box art for the Megazord, but since it got wet, it's really no use for me to make a box art now because it's my paper. But I did order some more, and for my future reviews, they will have box art, so I'm so, so sorry, guys, who are, that didn't get a chance to see a box art because I was really pumped about it, but when you have little brothers and they come in your room unattended because, you know, I got Legos, so they bring in juice and they just pour a bunch of stuff on there, so... Yeah, sorry about that, guys. But anyway, let's further on with the review. Coming up next, we are serving you guys with the Blue Jetter, which is kind of one of my favorites. Um, he is, of course, piloted by the Blue Ranger. Um, pretty basic there. He, he looks pretty nice. Um, we get a quick look at this um, front cockpit there, if I can focus. It's like this little sparkly gray. It's translucent. Um, he's pretty much a solid brick, but his articulation, oh, let me get that in focus. His articulation is just, the wings can just do that. That's just about it. Um, other than that, he really doesn't do too much. None of them do, actually. They're all pretty much bricks, but they're just, you know, there for looks. Next up is Assault Black Shuttle, and he's also another one of my favorites. He's the smallest. Well, him, yellow, and pink are probably almost the same size, but he's one of the smaller mecha or, me or zords, but I do enjoy him a lot. Um, whoops, you don't want that to come out. There we go. So just getting a little look at him up close. Um, you can see there's some leftover stuff from the stickers but other than that he's pretty well done um he came out well he has translucent colors at the top yeah so <laughs> there he is and for size comparison we're gonna compare him to the mothership zord just so you can get a little look on how yeah pretty small compared to him but nonetheless he still is a very good Zord. So next, we're going to be moving on to the yellow probe. To assault probe. And another another brick. But they all have these little itty-bitty gimmicks they can do. So I guess it makes up for that. Um, pretty nice. She does not have wings. But these pegs in the back serve as thrusters. So I, she's able to take off 
you know? But other than that, um, she's just her own little thing, and I really do enjoy it. Getting a good look at the front, it's kind of like blues. It's the same shape as blues with the little sparkly. But these up here are little guns. So she is not a defenseless pro, at least. So that's pretty much what you get out of her. And last but not least, we're going to be moving on to the Pink Winger. And this is probably another one of my favorites. Because it is a pretty cool pink Zord. I haven't made a pink Zord like this before. Um, pretty simple, pretty brickish like the rest of them. Um, it has these little guns that are pretty adjustable. I mean, I guess it's alright. Pretty cool. But yeah, that's pretty much it for that. Um, she does have these translucent lights in the back that are red and blue but other than that um there's not much you can really do but i will size compare her to blacks and they're roughly around the same size along with yellow putting her in there they're all roughly around the same size it's just her wingspan makes her much longer so now that we have done that we can actually put them in their secondary mode and they actually form up to become assault mega ship so first we're gonna get red, bring him in, and yellow. First things first, we're gonna wanna rip off this bottom compartment. If I could get my fingernails in there, it's kinda hard to get. Let me just um, zoom in a little more first. Okay, so you see this little white brick. I'm trying to get that to come out. So, if I could just reach it, uh, it's kind of hard. Because it's in there really, really tight. Um, yeah, see, this is what happens sometimes. Um, there, now it wants to come off. Okay, um, so yeah, here we go right there. That's supposed to come off. And this, these four pegs are going to connect with these four holes in the back. So we're just gonna plug it on in there. And next we're gonna bring Assault Jetter. And he has his thrusters in the back. Gonna do a look at that. Okay. And the guns on yellows will just simply, if I can get it lined up, we'll click into the thrusters like that. We're gonna get this fin and attach it back there. Next up, we're going to get a salt shuttle and just, if I can get them on correctly, uh, where's the lining for this? Okay. Uh, just kind of plug them on there. We're also going to want to get the wings and bring them all the way back. Almost forgot that. Um, it was unfocused. Sorry about that. My camera is acting really trippy. I will be getting a new one soon, so look into that. Um, next, we're going to get Assault Winger. Bring her in. And simply... Whoa, if I could get him stick. There we go. Ah. I wonder why isn't, it, why isn't it sticking? It should be. There we go. Okay. So what we're going to do is just plug her right on over here where this little probe is she is going to go and we're going to put these down she'll be taking the place of the probe and then the probe if i can remember where he's supposed to go um oh yes he's supposed to go over here flip these up put them on in there okay and last but not least is this yellow brick and she is going to plug in there and here is the assault mega ship um pretty darn big uh yeah it came out much bigger than i thought it would even though i've done this transformation a bunch of times but he's pretty huge so this can probably give you the one-on-one -on, -one on how big the megazord is going to be because this guy is huge and another thing is this was also inspired by the in space line just letting you guys know because you know Pretty sure some of you guessed that who are Power Ranger fans. If you guys are just here for the Legos and 
If you don't know Power Rangers, this is inspired by Power Rangers in space. So yeah, um, pretty darn big ship. Um, if I measure him, for one, the Zord is about 18 inches tall. Well, for, well, maybe not about 18, I'm exaggerating. Probably about maybe 14 inches tall, 13. But yeah, he beats the entire room already. And he is playable, so I can lift him up. And he's pretty heavy. Um, just look at that size in my hand. He's huge. Um, give me a little look at him. It looks like a cluster of a bunch of Zords. That's kind of what it is. But this is actually what I was going for. A big cluster and a mega ship. So that's what happens when they go all right together. They form this mega ship and they do detach and become their own components. So now that we are done with the mega ship, whoops, we can actually get into the Zord combination. So let me just put these guys right into their regular Zord forms again. So I can show you how to merge them up into the Megazord. So just give me a quick second to put them back into their forms. And yeah. Now I was thinking actually to kind of edit this part out, but I was like, I'm just gonna give you guys a raw review because editing takes time. But then again, I will be editing soon because I will be getting a MacBook. So another thing, look into that. So yeah. And this is supposed to stay in the yellow. Whoa. Okay, I dropped that. Let me pick that up. Okay. So here is the team back into their Zord components. And they are ready for merging. So here they are. Whoa, my camera was tilted. I did not see that coming. Okay, I'm so, so, so sorry about that. Yeah, that's why I should edit this out. But then again, well, I'll watch the video and see how it goes. <laughs> okay, so um, starting off, let's start off with Red, since he's the leader. We will always start off with Red. Sometimes different Zords, depending on how big they are. So Red is the starting point. What we are going to do first is rip off this little probie thingy. Come back here and take off these. We're going to stand this up and put these. Oh, these are supposed to detach, actually. And then put these down. We're going to get this and simply move this one to this side. And we're going to just plug it on in there. Split them apart. Come to the back and get this little boat cannon thingy and oh yeah that's not supposed to go on yet actually put this on fold it up and then we shall attach the ship onto there yes the ship goes onto here and we're doing the same thing we're going to actually take this off that gun and we're just going to sandwich them together as you can see, he is now a set of legs. And just by the legs, he's pretty damn huge. Um, yeah, let's just continue on with the Zord. So we're gonna move these guys out of the way. And let's go to Yellow. Yellow's kind of the same exact thing with the Mega Ship. You just, oh, gosh. oh there we go, huh. got lucky. Ripper apart with that part and you have these pieces. So, we're going to come to blue, and blue is fairly simple. You're just going to get it, rip off the wings. This comes off along with that, and we're going to plug this in there. And you're left with these pieces of cable for it. So, let's move on with black. And here is his sword ready. Are you ready for merging? Um... This black, I mean this gray brick, you're going to take that off. That's going to become very useful. Um, I can get that to stay in. There we go. You take off the jet, and you're left with these little 
thruster thingies and the jet itself with this thing. And yes, this Zord is a very big parts former, but then again, I don't really care because these are Legos again. I will make more and more as time progresses. I will not have that many parts formers. Okay, so with pinks, it's simple. You're just gonna flip these up, take off that, bring it down, and you're going to attach this here, okay? So, now we can get it all merged up. Coming with red, we're gonna stand him up and repeat the same process just as we did with the yellow. We're going to peg in these ports into those holes. And then we're gonna come to the back and get that little piece, that black hat, that gray piece, and we're gonna clip this in just to give it more security so that it does not <laughs> tumble over. Okay, now he's getting pretty tall already. So it's time to stand up the camera. Guys, so yeah. Let's move it back a little. Um, yeah, let me just stand it up about here. Sorry about this, guys. This Megazord is extremely big. So he might hop out of the camera frame. So next, we're going to get blue. And just like the Mega Ship, we're going to get the thrusters and plug them into the guns. Just sandwich that on top. Okay. Now we can bring it down a little bit more. Okay. Um, this is going to be on my reviewing station. But let's just finish and get it on. Okay. Next. We're going to get those two little. Let me bring it down a little bit. We're gonna get those two little turbo thrusters that we have with black, and we're gonna bring in blue. Now, first things first, they're gonna become arms. So we're gonna get blue and attach him there, and simply just plug it on in. If you didn't see that, uh, here's where it this plugs in. Um, let me raise that up. Black. Those four squares, this, uh, let me raise it a little bit more. Sandwich, the little ports there where the wings were, attach. And as you can see, we are making progress with this Megazord. Um, going on to the next, we have pink. Pink is the chest plate. So pink will just simply plug right on in there if I can get it lined up well. There, that is where Pete goes. And yes, this guy, <laughs> he's pretty, he's getting pretty big. Okay, um, let's continue. So next we're gonna come back with yellows pieces here. And we're gonna plug this simply right on the back of the Zord, if I can remember which direction it went. I think it was this way. Oh, wow. Uh, yes. This goes back here. Here we go. Um, the first part, the cockpit of yellow and red's little probe ship, they just sit to the side because they are useful as weapons. So yeah, those wings that were on blue, they have no use at all. They're just extra kibble. But raising it up, here is that gun that I was talking about that was on red. You're just gonna open these up Plug it in, and there is your space. Oh gosh, yeah, he's pretty massive. There is your space assault Megazord ready for battle. Now, I'm sorry for giving you guys such long reviews, but I really have to give in depth detail. So, here he is, and he is ready for action. Um, let's get a little closer look at him, let's see what you guys think. There he is. Um, let's take a look at his head sculpt. His head is articulated, so it can almost go 360, but these and those back there block it off. So that is that. Um, his arms do go a 360 rotation, just like any other Megazord would. And, whoa. Okay, let me fix that really quick. There we go. Um, but they do go up and down, same with the other one. Oh, come on, stay on, buddy. Mm. But you get the idea. 360 rotation. Um, this one is extremely big. He's more durable than most of my Zords. But he's not made for a super heavy play like the Babutsu King was. 
But anyway, let me show you what these last two do. So we can just take off black and blues. And you put yellow on. And each one of these little probe thingies are like a little power source. So it's like extra weaponry. Since this guy doesn't have hands to wield a sword or a gun. Uh, hold on. This just came off. He does get these little thingies for extra power. And wow, this is not treating me correct today. Okay, there we go. That's pretty much the other power source it has. Other than that, the Zora came out really, really well. Um, tell me what you guys think. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know in the comments section in the comment section below what you guys want to see. Next, um, follow me on Instagram at Brickstorm's Picks, and this is Brickstorm signing off.